This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo Levels 5-6, problem number 22. Three small squares are drawn inside a big square as shown. What is the length of the segment with the question mark? A, 17 centimeters, B, 17.5 centimeters, C, 18 centimeters, D, 18.5 centimeters, or E, 19 centimeters. This is the problem as it originally appeared on the test and here is where we'll be doing the solution. To start, we should remind ourselves what it is we're looking for. We want to find the length of the segment with the question mark. So we're looking for this right here. Well, we can see that if we find the side length of the green square, we will also be finding the question mark because 28 the length of the big square is equal to the question mark plus the side length of the green square. So if we find the side length of the green square, we can subtract that side length from 28 and we will find our question mark. So our focus should be on finding the side length of the green square. And we can do that by finding the side lengths of the blue square and of the yellow square. Let's start with the blue one. Well. We know that because um, from the problem, we know that three small squares are drawn inside a big square. So again, they're all squares, which means that the length of this side must also be 28, because it's a square. And if we know that this, sorry, we know that this is 22 centimeters, we can do 28 minus 22 centimeters to see that the blue square has side length 6. We can use a similar logic for the yellow square. Again, we know the entire side length of the, of the large square is 28, and we know that the length from here to here is 15 centimeters. So 28 minus 15 is 13. The side length of the yellow square is 13. Now, we know that up here at the top, we know that this, again, this entire side length is 28, and that is equal to 6 plus 13, which is 19, plus the side length of the green square. So that means that 28 minus 19, which again is 6 plus 13, is equal to 9. That means that the side length of the green square is 9 for the entire length to be 28. So, like we said earlier, we can find the question mark because we know that the question mark plus the side length of the green square, which we found is 9, must be equal to 28. And again, we know this is true because, again, the entire side length is 28, and we know that from here to here, is 9. So we can subtract 9 from both sides to get that the question mark is equal to 19 centimeters. And this is answer choice E. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.